not much before that. Or I guess I remember a vacancy, a lip movement, like a forgotten tool toy bobbing and weaving, waiting to display. The flower brought agency, purpose. Only when pulverizing and swallowing something so soft and delicate can I imagine the same traits in myself. Petals and stamen and saliva and dirt mashed into a piece of tea that slowly blossomed within me. There was no looking back. Okay, so at this very moment, somewhere in geothermal country, our dear old friend Winky is on a solo stroll. She smells something really cool, so she like stops in her track. She was like, wait, oh my god. The Boiling Rose. Last seen in 1842, and long sought to be extinct, the boiling rose was delivered by flower eaters three times. There are no known recordings of its effects on the body and brain as essentialists who are these like sworn enemies of softness and vulnerability went to great lengths to destroy everything related to it. Which did survive was an offhand account of trans women in the early 1600s preparing boiling roses for consumption by chilling them in nearby caves and eating them raw each new moon. Supposedly, all other flowers that produce estrogenic effects in the body are poor imitations of this one. So when she's freaking out, I mean, she would freak out too. She's like shouting with the mouth now, she's dancing, she's laughing, and she's got to tell the girls back at home, but I mean, ultimately, like, she's in the middle of the devil, so she's like, where's that thing by now? Then, like, 10 minutes later, far from the geothermal country, the phone starts ringing. But because that queen can't hear us say, I am so sick of this song. It's like every time a new girl eats her first flower, she has to play it over and over again. Oh, I think it's sweet. Like, when we started working on this stuff, we were told such grand things about the future. I was 100% prepared for a life of isolation and disgust. It was so crushing. These new girls never even consider monstrosity. They're coming from a place of complete immateriality. Harmless and delicate, overflowing with potential. I am everyone, it's all me. That is nice, but I think they have enough of a form to put on headphones. Uh, you're just sad because that new girl's also named Queenie.